This is the beer to come here for. If you like porters, you're gonna be blown away by this one. This is one of my favorite porters of all time. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. Right now I'm in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm about to go on a historical tour of the Fort Worth neighborhood, and we're going to have lunch at Alexander Michaels. It's a local pub, and everybody knows your name, right? Yep, it's called <laughs> Al Mike's. They don't even call it Alexander Michaels. And what are we gonna experience here in uh, Fort Worth? Well, we're starting off at Levine Museum in the New South. We're gonna walk into Charlotte's first historic district. A lot of Victorian houses, and uh, a lot of new construction as well. Charlotte is now a downtown residential destination because the historic district convinced people that, yep, you could live downtown. So Fourth Ward is sort of part of downtown, right? I mean, this is all yeah. downtown. The whole of Charlotte was within what's now the I-277 loop as recently as 1900. Little tiny town, they divided it into four election districts, four wards. Okay. And Fourth Ward is the, the best preserved of the old, uh, old four wards. Okay, so this is like how it really felt. Well, not all of this, but it feels more new. Well, well when we get there, if you're, if you're looking for a city like I do that has a lot of history in it, it's here, but it's hard to see. But if you're looking for a city with some great urban spaces, here we are. We're in the historic district now, Fourth Ward. Victorian houses, um, behind me some new infill, but also some modern houses. Harvey Gant, who was Charlotte's first African-American mayor, architect, uh, he lives here, and uh, I'm sorry, House of Representatives um, uh, person uh, Mel Watt lives in Fourth Ward as well. Charlotte is 250 years old, 1768, December the 3rd, the colonial governor signed a piece of paper that said they could sell town lots here. In gratitude, they named the main street Tryon Street after William Tryon. And uh, we're in the Fourth Ward. Most of Charlotte is uh, from the 20th century, the 21st century, but a little bit goes back to the late 19th century, and that's what we're gonna see here. This is the Berry Hill House from 1884, when uh, folks started to renovate this area in the 1970s that was painted, I think, gray, and they discovered all those beautiful Victorian colors, and it really led to the rebirth of the Fourth Ward area in Charlotte. So we're gonna have lunch now at Al and Mike's. And Al Mike's, Al, Al Mike's. Mike's. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the house behind us, the Berry Hill house from 1884, the family built the grocery store for the neighborhood. Today we think that, that well-to-do people should not live in mixed neighborhoods. That was the normal thing to do back in the Victorian era. Alexander Michaels uh, started out as a grocery store, uh, 1897, and has been through many different changes. It's been Alexander Michaels for more than 20 years, one of the favorite places to eat in downtown Charlotte. I'm going with this one, the bird song, Lazy Bird Brown Ale. How many breweries are there in Charlotte? Oh, gosh, uh, there's an official number. I think there's over a dozen in just the city metro area. I read 35. So in the region, there's yeah. a 35 or 36, and it grows every single day. I mean, the number just changes and changes, so it's, it's hard to count them. Okay, so I'm starting off with a brown ale from, it's called the Lazy Brown Ale from Birdsong. Birdsong is another brewery in the Noto area. It's closer to downtown though. Oh, this is like perfect for the weather. I love this. I've become more of a brown guy lately for some reason. I just like strong beers. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We got the honey garlic chicken wings. Yes. It's like scorching hot. Mm. Oh, I like that it's not too spicy. I can actually So the blue cheese right here. That's ranch. Ranch? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is blue cheese. It was so smooth. I think it's the honey garlic sauce that like, this finger looking good. Oh, it's still so hot. <laughs> so good. It's like a honey glaze. Oh, we have the barbecue chicken sandwich. And this is like, it feels like almost like a croissant, right? Mm -hmm. It's a croissant? The Reuben sandwich. And what's inside it? So ham, looks like mayo. Corned beef. Corned beef? Supposedly corned beef, this tastes corned beef. Mm -hmm. And crown. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. Now I got my chicken sandwich. And this is a this is a beast. It also has sauerkraut. 
has pulled chicken, barbecue. Oh man, it feels like a pulled pork sandwich. Oh, and the barbecue sauce in here is amazing. I just want to know what's in it, but this is like ridiculous. Yeah, that's actually so, special. We don't have it. It's not in it. Oh, you don't have it in the menu. It's just a croissant. We... So what's in it? Just barbecue, coleslaw, and pulled chicken. And having the croissant though, it's like a buttery bread. Am I lost for words here? Here we have some Cajun fries. Are they hot? No. It's not so bad. It's like mild. Yeah. Onion rings. Mm. Nothing like it. So this is a jalapeno. Jalapeno ale. Pale ale. Yeah. Wow. You can really taste the jalapeno there. Not too spicy, but you feel it. So both beers I tried today were birdsong. Uh, my name's Steve Kastner. I own Alexander Michael's Restaurant. Uh, this building was built in 1897. Originally it was a general store. Had about a 40 year run. Uh, became kind of run down with the neighborhood in the 50s, 60s. We came in in 1983, built the uh, booze, the back bar. And the bar opened up in April 27th, 1983, and been going strong ever since. Got a good clientele, the neighborhood supports us really well, but we really get people from all over. Uh, haven't advertised in about 20 years. I got a great staff. Beers, we uh, have 15 beers on tap. This is a 1922 McRae cooler. I've rebuilt it three times since we've been open and uh, recently uh, converted it to uh, draft box. Most of our beers are locals. Uh, we have uh, Old Mecklenburg, Birdsong, Noter Brewery, Sugar Creek. Uh, we, of course, have Guinness, Barsteiner. All right, so our next stop is Noda Brewing. This is one of the pioneer breweries here in Charlotte, and they have some award-winning beers. I'm very excited because I didn't go there yesterday while I was in Noda, but they're in a different piece of Noda, like a different part of Noda neighborhood. They're like in the northern part. And how long is it, like 10 minute drive? Uh, no, eight minutes. Eight minutes, wow. That's quick. We're here, Noda Brewing. Let's go inside. Oh, I can't wait to have a flight of beer. Hello, my name is Charles Willett. I'm the uh, controller here at Noda Brewing. We are the second oldest brewery in Charlotte. Um, we're about to celebrate seven years at the end of the month, uh, October 29th. So please come down and uh, check us out. We've got, we're doing the three first beers that we started with, including one of our favorites uh, to return to, which is our Notarized, which is a nice big rye uh, uh, beer. So come on down and uh, consider yourself notified. So when we first opened up in 2011, uh, we entered our Coco Loco, our coconut oat and Coco Nib uh, robust porter in GABF, and we won the silver medal, less than years old, for um, with no gold awarded above it, <clears throat> which blew us away. Um, had no no reason to expect that, uh, which was a great start. Uh, really helped us get some uh, some momentum in this year. Since then, we uh, we won the gold for the 2014 World Beer Cup which for our Hop, Drop and Roll, which is our most popular our, you know, kind of flagship IPA, West Coast style. We are the only, to my knowledge, East Coast brewery to have won that award. It was the biggest category in the competition. Uh, two years ago, our, our seasonal Notohito, so basically our uh, wit beer that tastes like a mojito with lime and um, and Mint uh, won a gold for, and GABF as well. And then this year, uh, just a couple weeks ago, our current seasonal, which is the gorgeous uh, pumpkin ale, uh, the first batch of which was actually mashed in a giant pumpkin and then strained on our uh, homebrew system before we opened. Um, and that one won a gold medal for G uh, this year for the pumpkin ale category. So it is by far our biggest seasonal. I won the beers we're proudest to get recognized for because of how much time and effort it does it takes, especially getting all that pumpkin, you know, into the batch. So right now we're in the back of the brew house, and this is a 240 barrel fermenter. 240 barrel fermenter. I've never seen one this huge. Look at this. So how many? How many gallons are in here? 7,500. Oh my About. god. It's a lot of beer. Yeah. So you can't go wrong. Like you have to know that you're making the right beer here. Right. <laughs> and what else do we have in here? Uh, the brew stand over here. Empty kegs right here. Just stuff everywhere. Okay, so we have four beers here in this place. As I said earlier, this is the second brewery to open in Charlotte. They're going seven years strong and they have three award-winning beers. 
I have three of them here, and then I have a fourth one. So I have the Bella Brew, and then I have the Gorgeous, and it's one gold, and then I have the Coco Loco. It won silver at the JABF, which is the Great American Beer Festival. And here we have the Hop Drop and Roll, which won gold at the 2014 World Beer Cup for the IPA division. Bella Brew. It's a little soury, a little tangy. Light. It feels almost like a Fanta in a way. It's nice. Next we have Gorgeous. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Look at this, guys. It's a beautiful red. Oh my god. It's like a red ale. I don't know for sure, but it feels like a red ale with like some German taste to it. Almost like a, almost like a German wit. I think that's what it tastes like. Mmm. Nice. It really feels like I'm in Europe right now with this. I understand why I won a gold medal. It's so good. The next one we have is the Coco Loco. So this is a coconut porter. And it's also won a silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival. Wow. This is like right up my alley. Coconut and porter. Oh my god. This is the best porter I ever had in my life. This is ridiculous. Coconut notes. Mmm. Porter. Roasty. Oh, I love this. This is like perfect for this weather. It's like 68 degrees right now. Awesome. This is the beer to come here for. If you like porters, you're gonna be blown away by this one. I love how the coconut mixes with that little roasted bean sensation. Oh, Noda, you're killing me with this one. This is so good. I love that beer. And here we have the hot drop and roll. It won a gold medal. 2014 World Beer Cup for the IPA division. Look at that beauty. Let's try this thing. I can't wait. Oh my god. This is a very light IPA in terms of the hops. I'm sure it's also light in the alcohol percentage. Smooth, sessionable. I love it. I really understand how they won medals because they're just so unique. They have such a nice flavor to them. Smooth. You can drink them. They're not too high in alcohol, so it's like very, very drinkable. And wow, I mean, this one is just so good. Gorgeous. Mmm. I love the taste on that. This one's a little more sour. The porter was my favorite for sure. Coco Loco, killing it. All right, so to end our trip here at Noda Brewing, I'm trying their Belgian Triple. It has 10% alcohol. Looks amazing. They said it's one of their best beers. It's like a creamy Belgian. What I love about Belgians is that they always have a similar taste. This one's actually a little different. It has like some vanilla notes to it. It almost feels like a Belgian dessert. So I hope you love this historical tour of the Fourth Word neighborhood. We walked around, we ate some delicious food at Alexander Michaels. Oh, and the beer there was incredible. That's the uh, Birdsong Brewery, which I haven't gone to. And then obviously here coming to Noda, if you have to come to Noda Brewing, I mean, this is an amazing brewery. It's one of the best in the city, and it's the second oldest. They basically were the pioneers here in the craft beer industry in Charlotte. And yeah, their award winning beers are amazing, but I love this Belgian Triple. Woo, really strong, really amazing. Guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next food travel adventure here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Peace.